This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. Hey guys, what's up? Leon here and welcome back to Tesla Mare. Today it's going to be hot. We're going to be working with a device that probably most of you already know. I think some of you have even built it by yourself. We're talking about the induction heater, but this time we try something different. Be curious. Before we build an induction heater, we first take a look at a real induction stove in action. This one is located in the kitchen. I wish this one would be in my workshop. When you put a piece of aluminum foil on the surface, it gets very hot. But why? I will explain it in a moment. In any case, an induction stove is a great toy. First I will set up a ZVS induction heater and then I will explain how everything works. After that I'll introduce you to our new setup, which is way more exciting and dangerous than the ZVS circuit. Maybe we can cook something in the end. One thing I can tell you already, it's going to be very loud. Probably the simplest induction heater can be built with a so-called ZVS circuit. ZVS means nothing else than zero voltage switching. The ZVS circuit is simply an oscillator which works very efficiently. For those of you who want to know more, a ZVS circuit is a Royer oscillator which was invented and patented by George H. Royer in year 1954. The advantage of this circuit is its simplicity and the high efficiency I just mentioned. Do you want to know how to build such a circuit easily? Then check out my tutorial. I built a ZVS circuit. The oscillation circuit itself which also determines the oscillation frequency, consists out of this coil and the film capacitor here. We could also replace the coil with a pancake coil, which would be more like in the kitchen. If I now supply power to the circuit, the oscillator starts to oscillate. The coil then emits a strongly changing magnetic field in the frequency given by the oscillator. If we now hold a metallic object in the center of the coil, following happens. Currents are induced in the object by the magnetic field which is emitted from the coil. These are so called eddy currents. But why eddy currents? Because these currents flow in eddies. Heat is generated by the resistance of the metal opposing the currents. If a too high current flows through a resistor, it will get warm. Then there is also the skin effect. This ensures that the current flows only on the surface of the object. This increases the effective resistance of the metal and the heating effect is thus further enhanced. By the way, magnetic metals such as iron heat up the most. There are small domains in them which align themselves according to the polarity of the magnetic field. You can imagine them like this. If the magnetic field changes quickly, the domains also change their direction quickly. This creates even more heat. That's enough about the function of an induction stove. Now let's do some tests. As you can see, the iron nail heats up much better than the copper wire. What would happen if we put some iron powder into the coil? Wow, that was very interesting and beautiful. But this is nothing new. There's another way to build an induction stove. It's much more dangerous, but even more spectacular. And do not rebuild it in any case. First of all, we don't need to talk about efficiency. Our plan is to use instead of the Royer oscillator, a spark gap Tesla coil without a secondary coil. So we only have a spark gap oscillator. And this is like a kind of induction heater. For this we need a high voltage transformer, a spark gap, a coil and a capacitor. Nothing else. The capacitor will be a MMC, a multi mini capacitor. For this one I designed this PCB and ordered it from my new sponsor JLC PCB. JLC PCB is a PCB manufacturer which allows you to make your own PCBs. For only two dollars you already get five PCBs. If that is not a good price you can even go one step further. 
If you use the PCB assembly service, you don't even have to assemble the boards. Believe me, especially with SMD components, you save a lot of trouble. The only thing you have to do is save your Gerber file as a zip file. Once this is done, select the desired parameters. Lead free? <laughs> yeah, definitely. What color are you in favor of? <laughs> Purple is sexy, isn't it? Just upload the file, order and you're done. Within 24 hours your PCB will be produced. And a few days later they will arrive. If you register at JLC PCB via the link in the video description, you will get 4 coupons with a total value of $27. For now, I will assemble the PCB. That looks very good. Now we will build an induction heater according to the following schematic. Because we can, we will use a rotary spark gap. It was a lot of work to build this one. The construction is made out of acrylic glass. I hope Jay will love it. The motor is from an old vacuum cleaner. I'm going to use this high voltage transformer. It's an old neon sign transformer. It supplies about 150 milliamps at around about 6 kilovolts. The principle is the same as before. By discharging the capacitor via the coil, a strong magnetic field is created. Eddy currents are induced and heat up the metal. For the coil, we use this flat coil. Do you remember this coil? <laughs> Let's go. This is going to be very loud. Hmm, unfortunately the water heats up only a little, maybe 50 degrees celsius, but not more. <sighs> Too bad. I thought it would work better. Besides you can hardly breathe here because the spark gap produces a lot of ozone and that is toxic. <laughs> mm, I think I like the ZVS driver much more. Let's cook an egg with it for the end of the video, so that we have at least a small success. If you don't have the money for a real induction stove, this one can remedy that. Oh. Absolutely delicious. Yeah, guys, unfortunately it was not so satisfying. Even though it was anything but efficient, it was a lot of fun. We can definitely use the MMC and the spark gap for an upcoming project. Maybe in combination with this big transformer. If you don't want to miss it, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment down below and then guys, we will see us in the next video.